What a beautiful night for a bonfire. It has been almost two years since I've made an actual bonfire. There's the moon out there. I know you can't see any of the stars, but there's Jupiter. It's just a beautiful, beautiful night. I can hear the coyotes off into the corner. And hear a bull. Oh, there's a cow around here somewhere to the south of us. What a beautiful night. I'm always doing so much work that it's sometimes it's hard to sit down and actually enjoy things like this. And I really need to more often, but <clears throat> you know, you start getting into a rhythm and you just don't want to stop, and that's true about everything. And that's why I haven't done a bonfire in so long. And it's just me out here. Danielle was out here. Two of the kids were out here. But it's been me for the most part. And it's very peaceful out here. It's a calm night. No wind. Which is surprising for this time of year. Just wonderful outside. I think one of the things I am blessed with the most and fortunate is being able to live way out here the occasional car goes by but there's no noise you just hear the coyotes once in a while you know nature is basically what you hear i remember <clears throat> i've always been a city boy up until the past couple of years and i remember um Taking Danielle out for, it wasn't our first date for sure, but it was the first, I guess, surprise date or planned out date that I had. And I had um, a whole bunch of uh, picnic stuff in my camera bag. I didn't bring my camera, but I stuffed it with a bunch of stuff and uh, things that she liked. And we uh, went on a quote unquote date to the park. And I remember walking through, oh, I just saw a shooting star, nice. I remember walking through the uh, park. It was uh, all woodsy area, and they had trails and stuff. And listening to nature and thinking to myself, it's so wonderful out here. And it really is. And now we're blessed absolutely blessed to be able to actually have a piece of that and I know that not everybody can be out in the country I know that's not possible I lived in the city for almost 40 years so yes I'm well aware that not everybody can live out in the country there's not enough land for everybody to live out in the country but there's just something about it. Being out here, it's a certain experience that you just can't get in the city unless you take a vacation outside the city. <clears throat> I think that's one of the reasons why I loved going up north so much, to experience that. There's so much country up north, I guess, in Michigan. Yeah, you've got your... You know, your cities from time to time along your journey. But for the most part, it's low population, quiet, woods, waterfalls. The Upper Peninsula is just a, just a beautiful place. But so is Canada. You know, I hear one car right now off into the distance there was a couple of coyotes making some noise here a little while ago and I can see almost every star out there that's visible to us it's just wonderful out here there's there's no way to experience this anywhere else well the fire's dying down I think I'm gonna head inside here in a little bit seeing the twinkle of the stars it's wonderful so 
I'm reminded of I'm a story guy memories I'm reminded of the first night that we moved into this house and I turned on the rear house lights and it just felt like it went on forever it felt like there were bears and and coyotes and all these other animals that were out there and turning on the light I was safe in the house and now <laughs> now I can walk the entire property and not not feel scared it's amazing how things change when you realize what's actually out there but we actually do have bears in Michigan but they're further north they have been spotted as far south as where we're at but it's very rare um, they're they're a bit a bit more north so at any rate yep the fire is starting to die down I'm wasting about I don't know I'd say about four or five hours of the heat that's fine once in a while it's nice to have a bonfire Saturday night wonderful weekend I hope you're having a great weekend too I hope uh, you're enjoying it I know some of you work on weekends I did for 20 years I worked just about every single weekend so a weekend for me was may have been different for you but it is nonetheless the weekend and I hope you're enjoying it even if you got to work have a great night and take care